This is Kathy from Gadget Stop 321, and I recently had someone ask me about my Sailor Lacool, how it stacks up uh, against other pens, and I realized I haven't used this pen in a long time. In fact, I haven't used it much at all. The only type of ink I've used with it is Sailor Gentle Black, and I thought, hey, I'm kind of curious too. So, I was wondering, why haven't I used this pen very much? It's a nice looking little pen. It's the same size and shape as a Sailor Pro Gear, which is a style of pen that I really like. And uh, when I picked it up, I realized, hey, I, I haven't held this pen in my hand for a while. It's got a really robust feel. The plastic feels sturdy and pretty thick. In fact, it feels sturdier then the 78G, it feels like it has a thicker plastic, and you know that I love the 78G. And um, it's, it's kind of, it could almost, I think, work as a pocket pen. So I got my Caveco Sport out, and yeah, it's bigger than the Caveco Sport, but the Caveco Sport is a pretty tiny pen. It's... It's smaller than the 78G, and the 78G is not a large pen. In fact, by full-size pen standards, it's a little bit smaller than other full-size pens. So, given the robustness of the plastic, I would feel comfortable carrying this in a pocket. But... The only thing is, um, with me not leaving the house much anymore, I don't really have a reason to carry a pen in my pocket. I thought, if I'm going to be using this, you know, my pens that I use the most have jobs or fall into a category where they have a, a certain function. And I thought about my Pilot Prera that I have in my little Bible study set up, and they're basically the same size pen, and they're they're in the same kind of category. They're they're the a nice entry level pen. They're not the low end of the entry level. So I thought these would be two good pens to compare. I may have already compared these before, but both of these pens I usually use with. Um, ink, pretty lubricated ink, like I, I use Oxford Blue with this one, and it writes as sm with the Prera, and it writes super smooth. Sailor Gentle Black is what I've used with the Lacool, and it writes really smoothly. I thought for today, since I've got um, Urban Wild Ivy in this one, that I would try it out with... Um, the Lacool also. Um, the Prera has a super smooth nib, and when I put this Urban Wild Ivy in it, it's kind of iffy. Some papers, it's still a nice smooth writer, and with the others, it feels a little feedbacky, unpleasantly feedbacky. Sailor pens are known for their feedback, but when I used Sailor Gentle Black with this one, it it was nice. So we're basically going to torture test these two pens. Now, I said that these two were kind of in the same price range. If you buy them uh, directly from uh, a retailer in Japan, these are both Japanese-made pens, and I bought both of these from on Amazon from Japanese retailers. This one... The Preras that I've gotten are in the $30 range, right at $30. This, the Lacool was $24, and it did not come with a converter. So once you add in the converter, it's in the same $30 range as the Prera. Um, this, is this Sailor? Yeah, this is a, a Sailor converter. So I am going to ink this one up. May 
maybe. Okay, yeah, that's a nice tight fit. And both of these pens, the Prera and the Sailor LeCool, have a, a plain nib. I have to say I like the look of the Prera nib better, even though they're both plain. I just think the Prera and the 78G uses the same nib as the Prera. I just think they're better looking, but we'll see how these write. Okay, now I am not going to worry about how full the fill is. Oh boy, man, I dipped this way down in the ink. Get some of that excess off. And the color I have here. It's kind of a, the LaCool that I have is kind of a peachy color. Actually, hold on. The actual name of the color was Quartz. And that, that's basically what it looks like. It looks like pink quartz. I'm trying to I dip the entire section down. It got down up to the step there in the section. I guess that's good enough. I'll clean it up a little better later. Oh, man. I'm getting ink all over myself. And I think the LaCool comes in like four different colors. Ooh. I think there's a black and a blue Maybe one other. I'm not sure what the last color is. All right, and one of the things I like about this and the Pro Gear Slim and the Pro Gear is that they post nicely, nice and deeply, and makes a a good size pen. I've got to get my glasses on. I probably should have done that earlier. All right, and I am using. My little moleskin Kahir, and it, this is a paper that I did a writing test in earlier, and it works pretty good with the Prera. I'm going to see, I'm going to compare how smooth these two write in just a minute, but, okay. I'm going to have to try another paper because, yeah, this is not very smooth. And pretty dry. Both of these are pretty dry on this paper. So this one's the LaCool. Ooh. Not very smooth. I'll try a couple different papers. Yeah, this is definitely smoother. There's still some feedback, but the Prera is smoother. Let me see. What other paper can I try? I'm going to try the Hobonichi. The Tomoe River paper in the Hobonichi. Let's see. I'll try. Okay, there's definitely some feedback there. Yeah. And I didn't mention, this is considered a medium fine nib. So it's... It's a pretty fine nib, but it's, let's see, I've got the Pro Gear Slim Fine. Let's compare that real quick. Pro 
Metal Gear Slan. Yeah, it might be a little noticeably finer. Hmm. Yeah, this. Let me show you the nib on the Lacool. It's not round. It's not perfectly round like a pilot nib is. Let me hold try holding it at a different angle. Yeah, there's just definitely some feedback there. I personally prefer the pilot nib. Let me see this one more time. Yeah, I, I definitely prefer the pilot nib. Now it looks like this pilot nib's writing a little wetter than the look cool. It's looking a little darker. I don't know. That's hard to... Doesn't look like much of a difference in wetness. Maybe that's a little bit drier. But the the line that the prayer is putting down definitely looks a little darker. Ah, it's just... I think it's going to be more dependent on... Or this is this is going to be your writing experience is going to be more dependent on what type of ink you use, and you're gonna for a pen like this. This is stereotypical sailor. It's got that feedback, and so um, you're probably going to want a more saturated, more well lubricated ink. Let me try this on the, in my voyage term, real fast. time they're feeling like they're both about the same yeah there's not there's not a noticeable amount of difference now you can tell the color of the ink looks different they're putting down different amounts of the ink but so I like the little form factor of the Lacool I just I probably need to do a little more smoothing on the nib. I think I've, I think I've run this over the micro mesh before, but I might do it again. All right, so that's that's kind of how the Prera and the Lacool stack up. Um, Yeah, the it, it's it's as you would expect. The Sailor nib has more feedback than the Pilot. All right, I hope this video was helpful. If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up.